right, you're joining me on one of the hottest days ever recorded in the UK for something a bit different. I took the E30 out of the garage and I brought in my E46 M3 and today we're going to be fitting this eVenturi intake kit. I don't think I've ever actually introduced this car on the channel. Uh, that's mainly because it's not supposed to be a project car, it's supposed to be just a car to enjoy. Now, I've owned this E46 M3 for about seven years now, so it's quite a long term. And at first, I was daily driving it, but now it's more or less a garage queen that comes out in, in summer to be enjoyed. I'll probably share a lot more information and detail about the car on another day, but just for a brief overview, it's a 2002 Imla Red, Imla Red interior, manual gearbox, it's got CSL rep wheels. It's got Porsche 996 brakes and all the maintenance is done bar a clunky diff really. With the introduction of the car out of the way, I'm going to throw this eVenturi box up on the bench and let's unbox it and I'll tell you a bit more about it and why I've decided it's the right way to go for this car. Well, initial impression is, um, wow, this is without doubt a beautifully engineered piece of equipment. I'm very, very happy with how it's looking straight away. So obviously the star of the show is this filter housing carbon, pre-preg carbon fiber, and it's beautifully finished. The carbon fiber looks fantastic. Really happy with that. Uh, the filter is the V2 filter, which has a bit more of a taper on both sides. I can only assume to smooth the airflow out even more. Other parts that are included are the heat shields, which used for installation, the fixing kit, the carbon fiber air scoop, which has eVenturi written on it there, which is lovely. It's like a chrome effect. Obviously the back side of it is just raw carbon fiber, but you won't be looking at that. And the point of the scoop is it sits on the front of the bumper of the car and just directs air into this filter. And of course there's the MAF tube as well, which enables you to use the factory MAF with the car. This is metal, it's not cheap plastic. This is a quality piece of kit as well. Beautifully machined. Right, so why have I bought this intake? Now, on Eventuary's documentation, it states that on a standard ECU map for an E46 M3, this intake should give you 10 to 15 increased horsepower and eight to 12 increased foot-pounds of torque. But the power is not why I've bought this intake. If I wanted to go fast, I would probably buy a different car to this, one with a turbo on it. That's not what the E46 M3 is about for me. What this will do is enhance the induction roar of the S54 engine in the car, hopefully much more than that standard panel filter airbox setup. I'm not expecting to notice any big changes in power, if I'm being honest, but wouldn't that be nice if I did? Now, the way this supposedly increases power is the shape of this air filter invokes an effect in air dynamics called the Venturi effect, hence the name Venturi, which smooths and increases the velocity of the airflow into the car's intake. And it does that with, the, with this shape. I'm no engineer, evidently, but it sounds pretty compelling to me. You can add an Evolve ECU tune and this intake together and with the pair you should end up with uh, an S54 that puts out in excess of 360 horsepower which is kind of CSL uh, levels. Now I am not doing the ECU tune or I'm not planning to anyway. If I end up incredibly happy with this system and want to keep it it's definitely something I'll consider adding down the line. Now obviously I'm very very excited to fit this eVenturi kit to the car and it should be quite an easy installation looking at the instruction guide. However, in the name of good science, I'm going to restrain myself 
and we'll take the E46 out now and set a recording benchmark for the sound just so that we can get a proper comparison of the before and after using the same recording equipment. So let's get the car warmed up and head out for a drive. With that benchmark recording complete, I've pulled the car back into the garage and I've just whipped the bonnet open and it's time to actually fit the Eventuri intake kit. There's actually a very good guide that Eventuri have put online in PDF form, props to them for doing that, um, and it seems to be very simple this. So I'm just going to quickly whip this intake on and then we'll see what it's like. So this is the OE filter housing for the E46 M3 and instead of a, an OE filter I've actually got a BMC panel filter in here which I fitted quite a while ago. Uh, to be honest though, I didn't notice any difference in sound or performance after I fitted that filter. Right I've got my M52 tablet stand and I've got the eVenturi instructions for fitting this kit. Um, I'll shut up now and I'll crack on with the fitting. Let's get busy. Okay, so now I'm going to fit the scoop and this scoop goes in through this front brake duct and you have to kind of finagle it into the hole where the tube you took out went up from. So now I need to take the old MAF sensor off this standard air box along with this rubber gasket and transfer them onto this new tube, MAF tube. So to do that I just need to use Security Tox T20.
right, well, that's the Eventuri intake fully fitted now. And to be honest, that was one of the easiest installs ever. It wasn't particularly fiddly. The instructions were very clear, plain sailing, straight on. So I'm quite happy with that. It looks so good. The rest of the engine bay is letting the car down now, which is quite amusing. It really needs a bit of a tidy up, but very happy with how it's looking. Just can't wait to see how it sounds. She's up to temperature now. Uh, I can tell from just pootling around, letting it warm up, that there's actually quite a considerable difference to the induction row, which I'm really happy about. I was worried that I was going to fit it and have no perceivable difference, but that's not the case with this. It's much throatier, it sounds much rawer, it's addicting actually, which probably isn't going to be good for my uh, fuel bill at current prices, but that's the price you pay for enjoying cars.
So now I've taken the car out for a good drive since fitting the intake, let me give you some of my concluding thoughts on it. So let's start with the pros. Firstly, it's a doddle to fit. It doesn't take too long. It only requires simple hand tools. Anybody could fit it really. And with Eventuri's guide being spot on, it's, it's a breeze, so that's great. Secondly, as I've mentioned a couple of times in this video already, the quality of the intake is fantastic. You can see it's made from top quality materials and it's, in, it's incredibly meticulously designed and finished. So I'm very happy to install, to install it on this car. It adds to it. But the main plus is the noise it makes. It adds a really nice bark to the middle of the rev range on the S54 and also a bit more noise up top, which is the main reason I bought it. So I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with that. I was a bit worried that it was going to be overstated and not quite as good as they said, but having had first-hand experience of it now, it's, it's fantastic. Another great point to add is it introduces no additional drones or NVH into the cabin when you're just cruising around normally. It only really comes alive when you're pressing on and you're in the middle or the upper end of the rev range, which is great because that was another concern I had. I didn't want it to interfere with this car being used just to cruise on the motorway, for example. As far as cons go, I can't think of too many, to be honest. The first one that springs to mind is they're quite expensive to buy. Although, to be honest, when you compare it to the price of a full CSL airbox, it's a great value alternative, so it's probably just me being tight. The second point to make there is it doesn't feel like a huge difference in power, although it does sound like it's added more power, that's for sure. Now, I'd probably notice it a bit more on track, but for just normal road driving, I can't say there's a, a big bump in power or anything like that. Not that I was really expecting to feel one anyway. Further to that, I may actually look to add the Evolve remap to really get the most out of the intake. But as I keep saying, I'm not actually looking to add lots of power to this car or anything like that. It's, it's got ample power for what I'm using it for, to be honest. So all in all, I can wholeheartedly recommend the Eventuri intake for this car. It adds a lot to the driving experience and I'm actually over the moon with it, really happy. So if you found this video useful, please do feel free to give us a like. And if you're interested in more M3 content, do subscribe so you can see what comes next for the car. But either way, thank you very much for watching.